President Andrzej Duda laid a wreath at the monument to General Emil Fjeldorf Niel in Scherbz. The place was used for the shooting of a film about a general who was sentenced to death by hanging by the communists. To this day, his body has not been found. They gave their lives for Poland, as they wanted it to regain its true freedom, sovereignty and independence. They died for Poland, I believe for the kind of Poland we have today, a Poland that is sovereign, independent, a Poland that conducts its affairs in a resolute and effective manner, a Poland that can look after its interests. The official celebration of the National Day of Remembrance began at the Museum of Polish Cursed Soldiers and Political Prisoners of the People's Republic of Poland, which is located in a former detention center at 37 Rakowiecka Street in Warsaw. In that same place, Polish soldiers opposed to communist rule were detained tortured and killed. Today becomes a symbolic place as a symbol of the victory of truth over lies, heroism over betrayal, memory over oblivion. The fight for the cause, the fight for the highest values is the most important thing, and it does not depend on what the chances of winning this cause are, because if that were the case, there would never be any people who in a hopeless situation stand on the right side on the side of truth, on the side of independence, on the side of freedom, honor and glory to the heroes. Representatives of the highest state authorities, veterans organizations and the Institute of National Remembrance laid wreaths at the plaque commemorating the activists of the 4th Main Board of the Freedom and Independence Association. Lieutenant Colonel Łukasz Cieplinski and his subordinates Adam Lazarowicz, Mieczysław Kawalec, Józef Rzepka, Franciszek Błażej, Józef Batore and Karol Chmiel. They were executed in Mokotów prison on March 1, 1951. In reference to this event, today is the National Day of Remembrance. <laughs> The interior of the reconstructed cell of Lieutenant Colonel Łukasz Cieplinski was opened today at the Museum of the Cursed Soldiers. It was in this cell that he wrote his famous secret messages. In a letter to his wife and child, he wrote what values were most important to him and how he wanted his son to be raised. That is, he emphasized Poland, Christ, family. The cursed soldiers carried a universal message. Beatings, obviously strong interrogations, standing for hours, punishment, abuse, elaborate torture. And even in the case of Czaplinski, there is talk of psychotropic drugs, which he was forced to take in order to get some information out of him. Many bodies of cursed soldiers have not been found till this day. The communists tried to erase them from public consciousness, for example through propaganda by calling them bandits. They received death sentences in trumped-up trials and executions were carried out with a shot to the back of the head. Later they were buried in nameless graves, cemetery dumpsters and basements of security offices. It took a long time for the Polish nation to mature enough to give due glory to the soldiers of the anti-communist underground, our heroes. A number of excavation works have been carried out over the years, such as here at the Wączka quarters. This is also the burial site of those murdered by the security organs in 1945 to 1956 at the cemetery wall of the military Powązki Cemetery in Warsaw. The work is headed by Professor Krzysztof Szwagrzyk. For many years, the remains of more than 300 convicts were hidden, among them many cursed soldiers. Their steadfast attitude became a model for later independence and solidarity movements of the communist period. They passed on the traditions of the struggle for independence to workers, farmers and students. They were the ones who created the Workers' Defense Committee and later the summation of the entire great independence movement, the more than 10 million strong solidarity organization. For the younger generation of Poles, the cursed soldiers are increasingly becoming a model of patriotic attitudes. Even the crosses that are standing here, two years ago I think a few scouts nailed these crosses down. So it's kind of like this constant work with the troop, following these life steps of Witold Pilecki, following his story. For many years, patriotic circles and veterans organizations have nurtured and spread knowledge and memory of the soldiers of the anti-communist underground. 
Since the existence of Gazeta Polska, we have been writing about the cursed soldiers. We have promoted exhibitions and we have participated very strongly in the preparation of the first celebration of the cursed soldiers, which was on March 1, 2010. The National Day of Remembrance of the Cursed Soldiers is being celebrated for the 13th time. The legislative initiative to enact a new holiday was taken in 2010 by the late President Lech Kaczynski.